there is a very good chance that I already made this video. In fact, I know I did. But if I don't do something with it right away, it just gets lost in the shuffle. So I'm going to do this again super fast. So after watching a story of stuff video years and years ago, I just couldn't bring myself to use the regular store, regular store shampoo bottles anymore. That combined with the fact that shampoo bottles are just those kind of things that I'm not quite sure if they're actually recyclable, even if they have a little symbol on the bottom. Some of them have those pumps that are not recyclable. Anyway, I was looking for alternatives. So for many years, I decided to do the baking soda method, which you may or may not have heard of. Basically it's using baking soda instead of shampoo and then some sort of somehow apple cider vinegar was involved as a rinse, I think. A lot of people have great success with this and I think that's such a wonderful way to go. It's, it's very cost effective, obviously, and so much better in terms of not producing waste and probably so much better for just for eliminating chemicals from our what's going on to our bodies. That being said, I tried this for a long time, years, and it just never quite worked for me. And I tried really, really, really hard. And I know it takes adjustment. I tried different ratios of everything. And at some point when I just wasn't sleeping very well, I had to just call it and choose the best shampoo I could find and just survive for a while. But once things got a little bit easier, um, I wanted to find something besides shampoo bottles, even if they were free of all these harmful chemicals. And that's when I found a company that makes a shampoo bar that I love. The company is called Zero Waste Cartel. I think they're a fairly small company. I love their stuff. I love their team. Shampoo bars will sound more expensive than your average bottle of shampoo, but I also rationalize it because I don't spend money on a lot of different things that other people might. And I just have this peace of mind about it, knowing there's so much less waste involved and I super love it. I mean, apart from the eco-friendliness of it all and the fact that I just feel good about it, it's amazing. The shampoo is amazing. So it comes in these little tiny packages. I think the packaging is compostable. I keep putting it on our compost and I don't see it down the road. So I'm assuming that is correct. Here, I'll show you a shampoo bar that's already opened. Okay, so I've been using this one um, for a few weeks now. And I find that as long as I don't leave it like in a soap dish of water, I do take it out of the shower each time just because other people use the shower. I find that it lasts really long. I don't know how often other people wash their hair. I used to wash mine every day. I just thought that was the norm. I realized that that's not really that necessary. And so going a day or two in between is actually better for not drying out our scalp. I don't know, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, but I know that there's an adjustment period to that where your hair will take a little bit to adjust. Anyway, I find that these shampoo bars last a lot longer than I thought they would when I saw how relatively small they looked. There are also conditioner bars for sale. I've gotten emails about the fact that people are running out of their conditioner bars before their shampoo bars, but I'm totally the opposite. I could go through maybe two or more shampoo bars before running out of the conditioner bar. So maybe I'm not doing it right. So there are different scents to choose from, at least from this company and the one I like the best, maybe I shouldn't share it here because they do run low in stock sometimes. Um, but anyway, I like the pink hibiscus. I have also tried the um, something eucalyptus. 
it's so beautiful. It's sort of blue and pink, but I found, and it could have just been the batch I had. It just didn't have a strong scent. So if you're looking for that, that might be a great one. Um, I've also tried the lavender, which again had a sort of a mild scent, a little bit more of a scent than the eucalyptus one. But my favorite is the pink hibiscus. And um, I've also read in posts and emails from the company that the mango one is super popular. And I think they also have just sort of a neutral one. Not to say this is where your shampoo bar has to come from if you decide to go that route. There are plenty of places that sell shampoo bars. I know Trader Joe's has a version of a shampoo bar and I'm sure plenty of other places. I just love that they are so simple and have so little waste. And like I said, even if it wasn't for all my wanting to be eco-friendly, this shampoo is amazing. The way it lathers up so quickly. So I, it definitely took like a little bit of adjustment when I first started using it to realize I didn't need to use it on my hair very long before it did its magic and it lathers up super well. I think they have a video kind of showing someone using it. I, that is not my jam for this um, channel. So not going to take this camera into my hair washing routine, but um, that might be worth a watch if you're interested. The other thing I was going to say is that the company that sells these, if you sign up for their newsletter, um, there are often, not as much lately, but there are often discounts, sales. I think I've gotten two for one bars at one point. I know they have a subscription service. So there are definitely options to make it a little more affordable. It is going to be more than buying generic shampoo at the, you know, local big box store or whatever. But for me, it's totally worth it. I love knowing that it's free of all those harmful chemicals and there's just almost no waste at all. And it's just great. Like it smells good and it works really well. So just wanted to share that. That's all I have to say. Okay. Thanks for watching. Your actions can and will make a difference.